Hi, it's Mitch Blosky again with the ADU Show. Welcome back. Here we are in San Diego on another one of our projects. We have a one bedroom ADU going in in the next couple weeks, and here's some of our site work and prep. So first of all, let's talk about stormwater management. In case there's rain or dirt that's being run off into the street, we put up a silt fence to prevent that. Here's some of our plumbing and our pipes that are gonna be laid. And let's not forget the port of John. So here, here you'll see, we're starting to lay out our trench that's going to connect to existing utilities. This is our water supply line. And then beyond that's our sewer. This flag here is talking about the location of our sewer line, which we'll get to in a moment. So one of the most important things to do when laying out a site is identifying the location of the utilities. Here we work with the company CPL, Cable Pipe Leak Detection Company. They'll tell us where your sewers, water, and other utilities are located. These green flags here and here are pointing out where the existing sewer lines are coming from the existing house down to the street. What we're laying out now is the water line and the trench that will connect to the existing water line here and eventually the sewer as well. So sewers coming out from the house to the street. And then we also have our water line that's connecting to the existing residence. I'll walk you through the rest of the utility installment and the layout. You could see this white painted line on the ground. That's where our trench is gonna be dug out so we can install to the existing utilities. You can't hear it already. We're digging the trench. Let me show you what we're working on. All right, so while our men are digging this trench, we've also had our concrete guys come on out and start laying the forms down that will eventually lay for the pad for our ADU. Here's the trench right here. And remember, you always have to keep a clean job site. It's good for inspections, it's good for safety, it's good for the homeowners, and it's good for other subcontractors to work around each other. So here's the trench. When you come across utilities like this that you're unsure of, you either call CPL. Here we have this white pipe. That's for our sprinkler system. It's okay if it gets damaged, but it just needs to be tied off and then reconnected after our uh, trench is dug. All right, so I should mention that it's critical to find the exact location of the face of the structure for both ADUs and the existing residents. As you can see in the home above or in behind me, we have eave overhangs. Some, certain, some cities have different allowances. It could be a foot, 18 inches, the two feet. But what we have here is our survey equipment that's going to not only lay out the pad of the foundation, but also this yellow line here is gonna show the exact location of where that ADU will be sitting in the future. So here you can see, I'm standing right now in the future footing and foundation system for our next ADU. As previously shown, our trench is dug along the side of the house for the new utilities to tie into the existing utilities. This trench is dug all the way through. This is going to go under the future foundation. It's a pad, five inch pad with rebar and fiber in the concrete. Adds for extra strength and durability. So this trench is dug three feet deep up to where we're gonna have our stub ups. So there, next week we're gonna be laying our pipes for both electricity, water, and sewage. 
where we're standing now, you can see where the pad is going to be poured. The wood that's staked off around the perimeter are the boundaries for the pad. And you'll see in future videos, when we pour this concrete, it's gonna go right up to this wood in all directions and make a nice rectangular pad with some stairs for the next tenant to move in. Here's another great shot of where the utilities are gonna be laid. We're digging this trench three feet deep to include water, electricity, and sewage. Here's a good view of the guys at work. Wanted to stand on this retaining wall to give you a better idea of the size of this project. The pad is around 600 square feet and the ADU will be around 500 square feet. This is the extent of the pad that we'll be laying. And then if you can see the yellow line, that will be the face of the structure. Again, we have our survey equipment to find that exact location. We have our offsets from not only the existing structure to the new structure, but we also have the distance between the existing property line and this retaining wall and the new pad. So when it's all done, it'll be laid out exactly the way the city approved it and the way I designed it. All right, well, this is a pretty good day. Our trench is almost complete. Our forms are put in place. Next step, lay the utilities and then pour the foundation. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time on the ADU show.